Okay, down here, let's go check on our bird. Our baby bird in the flower pot. Haven't seen him today. I think I looked yesterday. Let me get up on the. Gotta get up on here to see him. Oh, I see the flower pot keeps turning. Oh. Hey, little birdie. What are you doing? You don't look too happy. Have you been sleeping? There you are. Is your mama feeding you like she should? She was the day I found you. I'm getting up. You got out of the nest. You got just a little, you got a lot more fur. Well, now the breeze is moving the flower pot. Don't fall out of there. If you fall out of there, you'll get hurt. You're just right on the edge of kicking yourself out of your nest. I don't think it's because I'm looking at you, is it? There we go. I was looking at the bird and not looking at where the camera was aiming. I don't think the mama would put you back if you fell out. One time I found some birds that them fell out of their nest and mama didn't do nothing, wouldn't take care of them anymore. Even before we bought, touched them or anything, you know, they always say if you touch them, the mama's won't take care of them. But I'm sure he's not tweeting like he usually does. He's wanting food. Of course, it's about, no, nah, it's probably getting, it's not 30 or 10 in the morning now. Last time, well, I'm not mad about it this time I saw him last time. I took a video of him, but I was using the live stream, and it's not very, it's, I can't do as good a quality that way. So, uh, let's put this around here and see if we can see him any better. I can't see how to aim it around there. There. You look so tired. Usually he's chirping and... Oh, look at that. It's a hummingbird. He was coming to that flower. There's a, there's some flowers here on the pot. This is a potted plant. I don't know if you can see them or not. I can't see the screen when I do that. Now he's got his head hanging off. The, he's just laying there. I'm worried that he's not doing good. It's been a hundred and... Well, it's been 105 to 109 the last four days during the afternoon. But, of course, it's not that hot now. It's, I can tell it's pretty warm, but I didn't look at the temperatures just before I came out. But uh, I put too much stuff in the way of seeing him. I don't want to scare him and make him... He's right on... he got his head hanging over the side now. He's looking up. I startled him, I guess. But before, he chirped every time he heard me come near, like, you know, he thought I was going to feed him. But now he's just real quiet and just kind of... He looks like he might be struggling more than he should for his size because he's got... He had half skin and half feathers the last other day. Now he's already got a bunch of feathers. You know, I've never got to watch them through every stage. Well, the ones I rescued, we put them, about three of them, we, we put them in, we tried to rescue We put them in a little bird cage and we fed them, fed them cat food because that was what we were suggested by somebody I knew that rescued lots of animals. But I didn't get to talk to that per I, again for weeks, that person again. And you're supposed to feed them cat food at the very beginning and then I think just as soon as they start getting feathers, start giving them like, Bird seed, I think. Not, I would have thought maybe start with worms, but anyway, I guess worms would be good. But uh, it's what you always hear, you know, the mama feeds them worms. Oh, they feed them bugs too, I think. But uh, anyway, two of them died, and then the other one lived on until it got to the point where he'd fly around the apartment. We lived in an apartment then, me and my three kids. And he would, uh, he got to where he would fly 
you know, short, shortly pass across the living room. And if I kind of held my hand up like I had some food, then he'd fly over and land on my shoulder. Well, I taught him to land. I'd set him on my shoulder and taught him that's a good place to perch, you know. Anyway, he'd fly to me and land on my shoulder and take the food. But then we went all the way for two or three days, and uh, he died. Didn't think he would, you know, die just in that short of time. And it might have been because we didn't know to quit feeding it cat food, because I did notice they had, di they had diarrhea, all of them. And uh, the other two might have just died because they were already too weak and sick, you know, by the time we, they were in a, the mother had made a nest in a friend's house, dryer vents, and up, they had a two-story house, and there's a dryer vent coming out between the floors. And they had made a nest in there, and they had fell out or got pushed out or whatever. And uh, that's when we noticed it, you know. And um, we, we knew, uh, I think we did put them back and waited, you know, most of a day, and the mother would never take care of them anymore, so. I think she might even threw one back out or something. Or one fell back out on its own, I don't know. We didn't sit and watch it all the time, you know. But anyway, and plus it was, you know, dangerous to leave the dryer vent clogged up. So, um, I don't know if that's the way he lays normally inside of his little nest or I don't want to touch him because then I'm pretty sure that pretty much all little baby animals if, if you touch them and they smell like human being to the mother then they usually won't because I've seen it with rabbits we, when we, I used to live out in the country when my kids were little and then the dogs found a rabbit nest and we brought in two or three little baby rabbits uh, well we tried to just put them back in their nest and then I think we left them. I don't know if we waited a day or two or what, but anyway, I can't remember. It's too many years ago, thirty some five years, so years ago. But uh, anyway, bringing them in, they got maybe a fifty-fifty chance of living when you bring them in and try to take care of them. So I would like, I really want to. Pick him up, put him in his back in his little nest hole where he's got real good shade, and and you know probably be able, well. I don't know if he might not be as cool in there, you know, if there's no breeze. At least he can get a breeze where he's at, and he and he does have shade from the plant. The plant is, uh, you know what? It's looking kind of dry. This is mom's my mom's potted plant. I told her about the bird and. She says, well, I just watered the heck out of that plant, you know. Or she says, I watered it. And I, watered, I said, well, I wouldn't go water too much. It might drown, drown him. And she says, oh, I put a lot of water in there. But now it looks like it ain't had any. And the one below looks like it has had water. There's two of them, same type of plants. One on the ground and one up here. I wonder if she didn't water it anymore. Afraid she'd hurt the bird. Well, I try to be specific and say, you know, just water it, but don't put too much. Actually, the, the cool dirt would help cool them off. As the water evaporated, and he's not tweeting at all. He's barely moving. He kind of he hadn't moved at all in the last minute or two here. Like, I mean, jabbering along, and that usually he, the whole. If I was talking to him, he was chirping and opening his mouth the other, just two days ago or three days ago, whenever it was. Oh, I wanna. I don't have anything to feed him though. I can think of. I don't really know what's in cat food, but it was okay, like, sort of. Like I said, I guess. But he's he's a little big for. But what I remember, I'm trying to remember. What I remember is once they start getting feathers, that cat food's too rich for them or something. But I don't have any bird seed. I don't have any. Uh, worms. I mean, there might be somewhere, some somewhere in the dirt, but it's going to be too hot for me to... Well, I haven't been feeling too good today. I'm, I'm tired from working outside the last two mornings, so, or days, all, all, all morning, you know, like six hours but each day, warm myself out. I cannot I push it to work, wear myself out. I'm standing up on my bench. I'll show you where I'm standing. Wear myself out standing up here. That's the only way I can see him. That's how high he is. That's why it is a safe place for him. I mean, I could, 
I thought, why did she put him in there? And then I thought, well, you know what? That's, that's a place that no uh, squirrels, you know, cats can get to, no squirrels can get to. But, uh, I sure would be sad if this is his last day or last moments here. He sure doesn't seem weak. I mean, when I first found him, I thought he seemed really weak, but of course he would. He didn't have hardly no feathers on him. But now he seems like he's awful weak for it. His, how much feathers he looks like he has on him. Of course, I'm seeing his wing now, and the other, uh, the other day I couldn't, the way he was facing me, I couldn't, I could see his breast and his, and I'll see if I can get around that. I don't think I can. Uh, I guess I can oh, turn this. Uh, he's, yeah, he's got more feathers than he did, because he was all skin. He's not even moving now. I'm scared that he is dying. Not now. And I don't know. <coughs> if uh, I could help him. They usually chirp. Most animals make when when you went, even they either think you're going to feed them or they're scared of you. They're going to make noise. Hmm. I made the pot rock. Don't have a cage. Of course, he's <laughs> he don't have the strength to go very far. I can put him in a box. And, but then I gotta have something to feed him. Well, actually, I would say, I, if I had something to feed him, I could just try to feed him and not move him. You know, and I could even. Oh, I thought about that. I just never realized. I could. I guess I could try putting on. I don't know if that help or hurt, but put on some of them natural blue natural gloves. But the smell from that might be more freaky to the mama than a human. But I don't think he's gonna open his mouth and eat if I do try to give him any. Of course, I could bring him in out of the heat, but once I do that, <laughs> we're committed. I can't give him back to the mom. I don't believe he'd, she'd take care of him. But uh, he sure don't look good. I looked at him, I think I looked at him yesterday. I was out here working. I remember thinking about it, but I can't remember if I ever did it. Oh, yeah, I looked, and all I could see, he was down in his nest, and I could just see his head, and he made one, little, one or two little peeps and didn't really move hardly. Well... If I can make another shot, let's see. Now I don't know if you can see him or not. I tried up over him. He's asleep or dying sick. Can't tell really. I guess. Well, if I was going to pick him up, I'd probably prefer to wear some little gloves anyway. But birds do have, you know, little mites and stuff usually but uh, I picked him up and put him in a box brought him in where it's cool of course I can't keep him in the room all the time he'd tweet me to death he'd cut me nuts nobody else is going to want to listen to him either and the garage is hotter than the front porch Let me go, I'm going to go in and I'm going to think about if I can find something to feed him. If I can, if he'll take it, if he wakes up and takes it, then uh, at least I'll know he's not gone. I might have to get on a ladder or something. Oh, yeah, I'm about, talking about, I'm about to fall off of here. Uh, I w if, I kept, if I tried to do anything besides what I'm doing, but here's the plan. See on this side, it's got see, it's got flower. Oh, it's got different colors. I didn't know that it had different colored flowers. It's a pretty little plant when it's 
Not wilted. Maybe, you know, you know, this one down here, maybe they're not the same. See, that one looks really good. But it don't have a flower one on it. And these leaves look more, yeah, they're thin. Those leaves down there are thick. This one needs some water, though. And the bird might could spend a little moisture. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to stop with that and uh, go and just figure out what to do.